Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Uh, today I want to take a little bit of time and show you how I make a uh, do-it-yourself cheek riser or a cheek rest for these cheaper stocks that come with the low comb height. It's extremely important whenever you're rifle shooting to get the same cheek weld. You want to make sure and have your same um, plane of eyesight each and every time you put your cheek against this stock. The rifle that we're going to be putting my cheek riser on or cheek rest on is this Ruger American Predator in 243. First, just want to make sure that we are dealing with a empty weapon. So they make a lot of aftermarket uh, cheek risers. Some of them are Kydex where you have to drill through the actual butt stock. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of drilling into my stocks. I know it's more than likely fine and nobody has any problems with them, but one, I like to save money where I'm at. Two, I like to do things on my own, um, a lot of DIY type stuff. And then three, like I mentioned, I really don't like drilling through um, any portion of the stock. Even though these are cheap factory stocks, I still do not like to, you know, um, degrade any part of that stock or anything like that that might cause future problems and cause weakness. So I'll just go through and show you what you need for this. This is a very cheap uh, DIY project and I prefer these over, you know, something you buy from the store. Uh, this option just gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, the first thing is these rolls of tape right here. These rolls of tape are actually uh, vet tape. Um, so what they're mainly used for or what they originally were created for was to actually wrap uh, the ankles of horses or any other livestock. But what this is, is this is just a, a very, of course, flexible type of, uh, it's not really a fabric, but it's sort of like a cloth, but it's, it's not sticky to the touch, as you can see here, but it's very sticky to itself. So as we get along here, I'll kind of show you how I, I, I put this on the weapon and um, it, it adheres to itself, but it's not sticky to your fingers, not sticky to your face. It's just a very versatile roll of tape. So that's one item you're gonna need is that roll of vet tape. And then the second item, I'm sure everybody has this, but this is just, you can see where there was glue here on the back side of this. So this is what comes on the inside of the cardboard box whenever you might purchase a new rifle. Um, any type of foam will work. I like this because it's just a little bit thinner. You can see here it's not real thick, so you can um, kind of layer it up however you need to. Uh, if you don't have any access to this, uh, any type of foam is going to work. Um, I've even used in the past just old t-shirts that I don't use anymore. And I'll kind of show you here what I mean by that once we dig into this. Uh, so those are just the two items that you need. This stuff, um, I will put a link down below where you can pick this up at Amazon. They've got a bunch of different colors, solid colors, as well as a bunch of different camos. Uh, and then you can actually pick this stuff up, of course, at your uh, farm supply store. I think I got some of this at Tracker Supply once, Rural King, places like that. But I'll link it down below. Uh, directly to Amazon so you can purchase it there. So we start from this and I've already took a piece and cut it out and I've already formed it to what I need. So I just took, you can see here it's still got all the dimples on it that this original piece has. So I took it, I kind of just form fitted, just start, you know, cut off a larger piece than you need and then just kind of start forming it to the rifle stock. And then once you get a good idea of, of what, where you might need it, you'll just put that there. And then once you have an idea of where you think you might need it or you know proper eye level for you, you'll just take it, I'll remove these scope caps here. You'll just take it and I just start out by kind of securing it on there, kind of loosely at first. Just throw it on there so it doesn't move. And then I'll just take it and put my cheek against it. And then I'll just make sure that my eye line is perfectly even with those crosshairs. Because what you don't want to do is, um, whenever you're deer hunting or coyote hunting, whatever it might be, you don't want to pull up your weapon and then have to raise and lower and move your cheek all around. 
And one, re one reason why I like this foam so much is after a little bit of time where you keep putting your cheek at, it's gonna put an indentation in this piece of foam. So it just kind of like a pocket. It just sits right in there and your cheek can go right down on the weapon where it needs to be. I've already went through that process and that's why this piece is already cut to size. As you can see here, it's nothing fancy. I mean, I've still got, you know, some marred edges here, not exactly straight cuts. I've used washcloths in the past. I've used old t-shirts, just wrap it up where you want it. You can even wrap some duct tape around it to hold that in place and then just put this stuff on the outside. So then we'll just start by taking this. I cut it into a couple different shorter pieces so it's not one piece and it, you know, taking a lot longer to roll around. Just gonna work with two different pieces here. And then I'll just start. I like to start with it just a little bit over the end here. And just pull that pretty tight. And give it a good wrap around. So then you'll just keep continuing to add. And I like to wrap it fairly tight. That way nothing moves around. Everything stays secure. And we'll just keep wrapping. I like to get this back part maybe an inch or two over the end of my foam. That way none of the foam starts to slip out. And just, it doesn't take a whole lot. It's not like you have to keep layering it over one another. Um, but I'll just roll it over one last roll. And then make sure everything's on there nice and snug. This stuff's nice because you can just rip it. Easy as that. And then like I mentioned earlier, it just adheres to itself. So that there is how easy it is. Quick, easy, and cheap. That's what we like. And then you've still got access to your sling stud. Everything's on there nice and securely. Not going anywhere. And I typically always just leave mine like this as the finished product. I, for some reason, kind of like the way it looks, you know, Nothing real fancy, nothing expensive. Uh, just gets the job done. And like I say, I like the way that this pocket right here will kind of form after some time of shooting. But I wanted to go ahead and throw it out there that what I used to use before I started doing this a while back is I would just buy these. I'm sure you've all have seen these before. Um, the thing about these is they, they typically do come with some small spacers to, you know, increase that height wherever you need it to set. But there's not a lot of flexibility. So what you can do is just make something like this, what I've done here. And then just simply put this over the top of that. But for me, I like the way this looks right here. And that's the way I'll keep this one. So I've done this to a lot of my rifles and I like how quick and easy it is. It's just nice if you don't have the funds to buy a full chassis, you know, with the um, adjustable cheek pieces or you don't want to drill into your stock and you just like to do things on your own. Uh, this is a quick and easy fix right here. I uh, got my Savage FVSR right here. Just want to show you, uh, I went with all black on this one. Uh, killed lots of squirrel, beaver, a um, bunch of different stuff with this. And the uh, comb height on these 
Savage stocks are is even worse than what was on this Ruger American Predator. But I took this and this one didn't take much, but I added a little bit of height to that. But this is just a handy little rifle right here. Uh, I got my suppressor on it. And then uh, this used to be all black, but I did a DIY camo paint job on this. So if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I try to get back to those pretty quickly. Uh, if anybody would like to see a tutorial on how I did the DIY camo paint job on this 22, go ahead and mention that or comment on that down below. And like I mentioned earlier, I will put a direct link to Amazon where to get this uh, vet tape at. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Make sure and subscribe, like this video, it helps me out, and uh, stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys soon. Happy hunting, be safe, see ya.